This is Nicole. She has been volunteering with a brother of you in Sheila, Guatemala. Uh, Nicole, can you tell you something about yourself? Hi, I'm Nicole. I am from Houston, Texas, and I'm currently a student at the University of Texas in Austin, and I'm studying pre-med nutrition, and I've been uh, here in Sheila for about a week volunteering. And at what project have you volunteered? I've been volunteering at a rehabilitation center where we've been working with kids and adults in occupational therapy and we've been working with other uh, student volunteers from the university here and we've been um, kind of helping them with their tasks um, and what they're supposed to be doing all day with the patients. Um, we've been doing playing games with them, working with their hands, we've been helping them do everyday activities like brushing their teeth, washing their hands, um, you know, cleaning their ears, and it's been a really great experience getting to know all the other kids working there and all the staff. Okay, uh, what was the most memorable of the volunteer experience? The most memorable thing about the experience has probably been all the people I've met. Um, it's been really great hanging out with all the other volunteers from America and also meeting people from all over the world and forming relationships with people you normally would never meet. Uh, in the States and also with the host family and um, you know going places here in Sheila I've met a lot of people traveling from other countries and um, you know we've gotten to become friends on Facebook and got each other's numbers so that we can um, still keep in touch. Okay and you've been staying at a host family can you tell us some more about that? Yes I've been staying with the host family and this family hosts a lot of uh, a lot of travelers and students, so it's been a really uh, busy house, but it's been a lot of fun getting to know all the people, and we eat all, all the meals together, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and um, have conversations around the table, and it's really cool to hear about everybody's lives because they're so different, and the, ho the family has been really um, accommodating by giving us keys to our rooms to lock our stuff up so it's really secure. They've um, made accommodations to our eating styles, like I'm a vegetarian and um, the mother has allowed me to eat meals with no meat, which has been really great, and overall they've just been really kind and welcoming. Okay, and did you like your Spanish classes and was it helpful? I really loved my Spanish classes. It was very helpful because coming into um, this program my Spanish really wasn't that great, and so taking the classes here has been really, really helpful. And my teacher has, you know, asked me if I need to know any terms for volunteering and um, has allowed me to kind of say what I would like uh, to get out of the lessons. And we've been walking around the city, um, having conversation. We've gone to the market. We've stayed in this cafe. Uh, it's been really great. And I highly recommend taking the Spanish lessons. Okay, and what did you do in your free time in Sheila? In my free time, I walked around the city, uh, got to know some of the people here, and we've um, kind of checked out all the restaurants and uh, gone shopping. We've gone through the market, there was a carnival here, um, and we had a day off, and we went to uh, the Hot Springs about half an hour away. And that was all set up by the ABV um, the coordinators, which was really, really great. And it was an awesome day um, sightseeing this beautiful, beautiful city. Okay. Uh, why did you choose for a broader view and how, how was their support for you? I chose a broader view because it, it allowed me to have freedom to be independent while I was here in Shayla, but also provided a structure for the day, like volunteering and then going to Spanish lessons. Um, so it was it was enough structure to where I was going to get the most out of the experience, but also allow me to have some free time to explore and do my own thing. And they were uh, very helpful uh, before the trip, in ensuring that the trip would be safe. We, both my parents and I called multiple times uh, to make sure that it was going to be safe here in Guatemala, and it has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, would you recommend this program to future, future volunteers? And do you have any tips? For I those? would absolutely volunteer. I would absolutely recommend volunteering here uh, with a broader view. 
uh, they're so kind, so helpful, and really want us to get the most out of the experience. And I was kind of hesitant coming into it because I really had uh, no idea what I was getting into, but honestly, it has been such a great experience and I would highly recommend it to anybody. Some things that I would recommend would be um, study up on your Spanish before you come. <laughs> um, also, I would bring clothes that um, for all sorts of weather, rainy, hot, cold, it's hot during the day, cold at night, um, I would just, you know, put all you can into the experience so that you can get everything out of it in return. Okay, thank you, and have a nice trip home.